Well, let's give it a shot. What's up guys, I love Punzo, you're here to do a breakdown slash live reaction review to chapter 3 of Shinobi Undercover, which is known as Teamwork, and I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm a little bit intrigued. Naturally, I have no idea about this manga, I've never heard of the mangaka before, the art is good though, and I'm excited to give it a deeper shot, an actual, a proper live reaction rather than just be reading it by myself. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. And Amy, are you ready? Three, two, one. One, go. <clears throat> What's up, guys? That guy with a pencil here. Fun fact, I do to have it on me and keep it on me at all times. And another fun fact. What's this guy? Oh, he didn't have a <laughs> my, my brain was like, who, who is this person? But no, he didn't have a name. I'm just thinking Yoda, Yodaka and Mukai. Those are the two I need to remember. <laughs> Yodaka and Mukai. Give me a second. I'm going to take right over the names. But let's hop right into it. I see. So public safety is protecting Aomokai. But you know what? You guys aren't the only ones with civilian plants. We've got some too. You best watch yourselves. Mmm! Okay, so we're setting up... We're getting further deep into the bag. Once again, a lot of these early chapters, at least for the two new series I'm reading, Ichi the Witch and this, they're setting up a lot of organizations and sides and factions very, very early on. And I like that. I like that. I like that. It gives good potential for the future. But setting up the idea that this guy was not, in fact, operating alone or under a specific contractor, but rather operating under an organization with civilians, or at least civilian plants, means that the scale of the operation behind specifically getting rid of her is gargantuan. And that also does raise the question... Obviously, Yodaka's only assigned to protect her at school and possibly in future hangout sessions. But, like, beyond that, who protects her? Because it isn't Yodaka, clearly. So, does public safety have more people consistently on her outside? Because how does she survive the rest of that time? I get, like, school would probably be an easy time to do it because she's consistently there. But, like, I don't know. You see what car she gets into every single day? Follow the car. Follow her back to wherever she goes, and then... <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm, if we're trying to be efficient, let's see. That's what the man who apprehended you on, the, that's the man you apprehended, uh, English! That's what the man you apprehended on the first day said. Hmm. The enemies targeting Al Mukai could be hiding anywhere, waiting to strike. That's gonna be a struggle. Yes, so even you're worried. You mean anyone, anywhere could start talking to me? Stop, stop! I was never really socially anxious, though. I don't know. And, and, you know, I guess some people are. That's the thing. Like, Yodaka, t he isn't me, but he is simultaneously people out there. So I can understand why people would relate. Some people are genuinely scared of talking to people. And, like, I guess to some degree. Like, even currently, there's some people who I just generally wouldn't speak to, and it's literally just because of how I carry and present myself. Like, I, I kind of just know, like, um, why they will have a conversation with you. I, I tend to eyeball, which is bad. Typically, I don't know. I actually don't know. I should not judge a book by its cover and just gamble on every single conversation. Because, like, what? If a conversation doesn't go well, they're going to forget me by next day. I can't tell you how many times I've had a conversation with somebody and immediately forgot about that conversation in its entirety. Even people who I am genuine long-term friends with, I've forgotten whole conversations that they'll reference later. I'm like, are we talking about that? What? So, like, I should just gamble it freely. But, no, I can understand that fear of, like, talking to anybody. It's just that your dog has it on the extreme. And a lot of people do have it on the extreme. There are people with extreme social anxiety out there who really are scared of talking to people. So, I get it. Don't get hung up on that. Remember, this is a mission. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll protect the assignment as her friend. Y'all gonna be more than friends. Oh, y'all gonna be more than friends. Unless something devious happens, but y'all gonna be more than friends. I've seen this type of manga before. I know the vision. You can't trick me. What's, what's, what's the mangaka's name? Like I said, I don't recognize the mangaka. Story by Ipon Takigushi. Maybe I do recognize that. Takagushi. Well, I think I just remember recognizing the name Takagushi. I remember Ippon. Is that, the, is that a Xenoblade character? I think it may be the Nippon. What the, I forget what those little, like, round things are called from Xenoblade. I still haven't played Xenoblade, by the way. I, I just have that real... I watched, like, a four... What, what, what was it? What was I cooking? Hasn't played a Xenoblade game. Doesn't plan to play a Xenoblade game. But I watched, like, a four- or five-hour retrospective on Xenoblade 1. I really liked it. It was a good video. I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to them. But I completely... I don't even know what compelled me to watch that. Huh. But still... Takeyushi Sensei and Mitarashi Sensei. Santa Mitarashi. Interesting. That's an interesting name. But then again, there's also that character in 
thought she could also named Santa. Interesting. But let's see. Oh, Nozuki! Oh, his name is Nozuki? I just remember Yodaka. Let's see. Oh, you, Nozuki! Some of us are planning to go to karaoke on the way home. Oh, uh-huh. I told them the two of us are going too. Don't do that. I, 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 that's the one thing I don't like. There are people who will invite you automatically. And hey, well, most of the time, I can adjust the schedule or something. Do not speak for me. Like, <laughs> it's just if I don't know them. Like, it's happened to me. I feel like everyone's had this scenario at least once with a friend group. Where they're like, hey, I said we're going to this. You ready? I'm like, you said you were going. You do not speak for me, young man or young woman. It's happened. It's happened with both. I've had female friends just invite me on things against my without my consent, and male friends invite me on things without my consent. At the time, it's been annoying. I typically go because fine, whatever. I'll do something. But there are times where I've just had to fly out and say no because, like, I am quirky pissy that day. I, I simply cannot be commanded and ordered around like this. You need to. You need to give me forewarning. But let's see. why would you tell them that? <laughs> I don't want to go. You just said you protect her. Get your butt over there. <laughs> oh, why can't I not read today? I've been, I've been struggling with this. I cannot read today. Let's see. You just said you protect her. Get your butt out there. But like, oh, well, I guess we are already addressing like the beyond school scenarios. But still, this technically counts as a hangout session. But still, that is rough. <laughs> and I thought you, I thought you didn't have other friends yet. How quickly did you make them? It's like the third day, isn't it? Let's see. Oh wow. <laughs> Really, this whole crowd of people. And where is Nozuki? Or not Nozuki. Where is Mukai? Let's see. I'm not going to scream. All right? I'm not going to scream. One for the mic. Two for me. Three for the mic. But, no, that wasn't a scream. Hopefully. Is this your first time going to karaoke, Al? It's going to be so much fun. Oh, okay. Okay. So still. Still, the they, they've locked in. They've locked in. All right. So they didn't get there before, but they're getting in now. Is this your first time going to karaoke, Al? It's gonna be so much fun. I'll dazzle you with my tambourine skill. She's gonna break the tambourine. She's going to break the tambourine. Um, not with your singing? Probably. I don't know. I can't sing. Funnily, funnily enough, people said I could because I did musicals. Fun fact. If you couldn't tell by my mannerisms, how I act, and the many voices I can do with all stuff like that, I was a theater kid. Yeah. Admittedly, admittedly, not initially. I started doing theater in seventh grade. I was first told to do theater all the way back in sixth grade. I was like, ah, oh, that's whack. I could never do that. And I've been addicted ever since. But with it being the case, Theater Man is here and now. So with that being the case, the idea of singing, well, I've had to do it. I did choir. I am, in fact, a bass. Sometimes a bass, too, if I really just let the register drop. But ultimately... Singing is not my forte. I was much happier whenever I could, like, either sing in the background or, like, be part of a group. I I did my solos. Not the most proud of them. Let's see. Those two have already blended in. Meanwhile, I'm terrified. I mean, I get that. And why are they so, why are they so cute? Why are you small? You're talking, you're talking, why are you so tiny? Let's see. Hey, Nozuki. <laughs> when did you get so close with Mukai? Do you know her from middle school? See. I, mean, I guess that is suspicious. That is suspicious. Especially considering they did not. That, that's not a thing that happened. So popping up out of nowhere, it does seem a little bit crazy. Uh, no. When I invited her to karaoke, she said, Can I bring Nozuki too? But she didn't hesitate. Uh, tiki? Tiki? Once again, I'm sorry. I can't do female voices to save my life. In fact... You know, no, this is, I would say this is my regular voice. This is how I talk normally. But, like, if I drop my register and just don't even try to enunciate or anything like that, this is how I normally sound. It was, like, a little bit deeper than what I normally sound like on video. This is when I try to get real deep. But that, like, that, that requires me, like, pushing out my Adam's apple and, like, putting down my larynx. I think the normal tone me is this, but relaxed tone me is this, and deep tone me is this. So, like... If you're wondering why I can't do female voices, that's why. My voice isn't deep, but it's deep enough. Well, let's see. She's toying with me. I bet she wanted to see me squirm around all these strangers. I mean, she did find your antics of music, but I'm presuming it's not malicious. Like, and you know, at least with friends, I always assume jabbing and like messing with people is kind of just part of the contract. Like, if you're just like, oh, if you don't, you want to have social links not confidants. 
for my Persona fans out there. You want to be able to connect with people as people. And ultimately, some Japanese jerks, it's, it's natural. Don't, like, be mean, mean, mean to your friends. Don't be a terrible person or anything like that. But, like, if you're messing with them, mess with them. That's the fun of having friends. You don't mess with acquaintances, right? Like, if you're trying to just, like, keep a business relationship, that, like, you're going to mess with your boss. But, unless your boss is your friend. But then again, I feel like it's a weird power dynamic. But, you know, have fun. Mess around. Let's see. This is a great opportunity. The other ninja protecting Al Mukai have already integrated into the group. Codename Hibari. Oh, that's right. His codename is Yodaka. His real name is Nizuki. Or fake name is Nizuki. Kano Fujimiya and codename Umineko Taki Utsumi. Interesting. I like their designs. I really something about this art style. Like, it's it's scratching a weird itch in my head. Unlike something like Ichi the Witch, where I'm like, I like this because this. Something about this art style. It's simultaneously so soft and yet well detailed. It reminds me a lot of, weirdly enough, Sakamoto days. So did the action for what little we got of it. Both of, both of them remind me of Sakamoto days, the art style. But it's somehow, cle it's weird to say cleaner than Sakamoto days. Like, I don't know. Something about it just, it's really, really nice looking, which is so strange for me to say. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to think about this more and by next review, I'll have like a proper way to explain it. But something about this art style it just looks so clean. Like, genuine, perfect pen strokes. Well, it's like, me Tanashi something you're cooking. Well, it's like, You'll have difficulties handling every situation on your own. Attempt to be closer to them, even if it's superficial. Get closer? But what can we even talk about? Work. I'm going to talk about work. I'm going to talk a little boring, but talk about work. And work, and ironically enough, talking about work in this case could literally just be talking about high school life. Chat about homework, stuff like that. But let's see. Like, ninja stuff? I mean, I guess it's a natural assumption. Oh, and that is work. No, no ninja to anything. That's top secret. Hey, Nozuki. Do you have a do you karaoke a lot? Do you do karaoke a lot? No. <laughs> He's talking to me. Um. <sighs> Why? Why? What was that? I'm sorry. I was trying to swallow my spit then. Right then. I guess you do. I don't know. My brain was like, swallow spit. But yeah, technically, I suppose people do tend to swallow spit. Let's see. I've been so busy with tests that I haven't been able to in a while. How long has it been? <laughs> Am I tweaking? I thought, like, just, I thought this school year just started. I've been so busy with tests that I haven't been able to in a while either. Have you got any good songs in your pocket, Nozuki? Okay, so they like, yeah, people in their ears too that are like, bond with him. Force him to get better. <laughs> Help him with human interaction. He needs it desperately. Well, let's see. Uh, um, well, it'll be a treat to find out once we get there. She turned it into a surprise. <laughs> But then again, I wonder, that's, that always comes with the question of, like, agents who are undercover, how much of this is actually their real personality, or how much of them is them being cordial because it's work, right? Like, and admittedly, I am just a generally amicable, amicable person, like, once y'all meet me in real life, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to this year's Comic Con, probably not, just because of, like, how close it is. I'm, I'm gonna have to plan that out for next year. I probably will go to, like, some separate anime cons out there, just so I can meet some of y'all in person, but... I am amicable. I promise. I, I'm, I'm more, like, admittedly, you guys see me smiling and a lot happier or on video and on camera because typically I do look like this. This is, I did, that's just my resting face. I'm never, I'm never angry. My angry face and my resting face, they look the same, but I'm never really angry. It's just, this is me when I'm not actively speaking and engaging in conversation. So I look, I look a little bit mean, but with that being the case, I am amicable. So when I, whenever I like begin to develop like friendships or connections with my coworkers, it is specifically I am being genuine. But I know some people they do just turn on a whole different personality for work. That's a little bit too much effort, though. I couldn't I couldn't do all that. That's not that's not possible for me. I can't. I can code switch somewhat, like my vocabulary and phrasing and the topic of discussion will change. I can code switch that much. I cannot code switch my entire personality. I can't. I, I do I do just be talkative though. I come from a long line of yappers. It's, it's, if you couldn't tell, the yapping it's in my blood. Let's see. Let's compete for the best score. Score in karaoke? How about no? So how long are we gonna sing? Is it's, 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 there a scoring system in karaoke? I guess like maybe how many words you sing right? I I can't keep up with the conversation, even though they're both trying to work with what I'm giving them. I'm the odd one out. I mean it's okay to be socially awkward. It'd be it'd be like they want to be like that sometimes. I get it. Especially, like, once again, going into the earlier idea, you know, but the funny thing is, though, I've always been better dealing with people who are out of my age range. I've always been fine with adults. I can blend in with them just fine. I did struggle for the longest time with people my age just because, like, 
I think and sound old a lot. Like my general speech patterns, especially when I'm new meeting with people, I'm very more, I'm much more formal than I typically am when I know you and I'm like, okay, I can be non-formal with you. My, my patterns, the speech patterns do change. So I do understand like the struggle of like adapting and knowing what to say, especially in a group setting. It's hard to vocalize in a group setting without like being worried about overpowering someone or not speaking enough. It's, it's difficult. It's hard. Social interactions, like I give credit to all like natural extroverts who are just good with it or are, I think I say oblivious enough to not necessarily care, but still it's hard. I get it. I'll take Huh? Huh? Hmm? That's the girl. No doubt about it. Sailor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Truck time, truck time, truck time. We'll have to nab her the moment she splits from the group. Gotcha. All right, all right, all right. Let's see him cook. Let's see him cook. I'm going to sing this one next. We got a tambourine. Oh, oh okay. I know nothing about karaoke. I, I think it, I, I've done karaoke very rarely in life. Nice. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, same seas. I know what you're doing. What's it? What are you singing, Ozuki? Oh, uh, I'm just Yotaka. You sent an enemy too, didn't you? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so it's a little bit, it's a little bit forced and locked in. On. I get it, I get it. Yotaka, you sent an enemy too, didn't you? <gasps> okay, he, but well, can Yotaka lock in on this now too? Now that's just work based. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go knock over a clip. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm going to knock over a cup. Please pretend you're getting a towel from the front desk and join Hibane. What? Oh, I'm up next. Ah, oh no. Sorry. Ah, seriously? I need something to wipe it up. Uh, I'll go to the front desk and get a towel. Thanks, Nozuki. Oh, okay, see, yeah. He, he's strung a little bit, he's sweating, but that, that's the thing. He's, he's a guy, he reminds me a lot of young me. Where, like, ultimately, I'm good at following instructions and patterns in paths like that's why anything that was like non-structured for me did cause me a bit of a struggle if you can give me a pattern if you can give me a job if you give me a task to complete i can complete it it's why weirdly enough i don't find content creation at least of my level and really i'm not a top tier editor far from it i barely edit my videos it is based on what i'm talking about how i'm talking about it where i'm talking about it why i'm talking about it but like content creation of itself yapping communication reviewing stuff it isn't difficult for me like it is difficult for some people i know my best friend also has a channel he just never posts on it because he thinks he well not that he thinks it's, it's hard for him he doesn't know what to talk about he doesn't have things to talk about though i tell him dude you have a bunch of stuff to talk about but he doesn't do it i know many people who can make fantastic content creators in real life they don't do it because they think it's hard and i can understand that but since i've it sounds weird because it is this once again this is the genuine me versus like the content creator me that they're the same person since it's just an extension of myself and a specific task, review chapter, edit video, post video, done. That's how my brain has rationalized it. So content creation isn't difficult for me. And I think that's why I was pretty able, mostly able to adjust to the scale of producing two videos a day, two real videos, and then two shorts. Or then on the other platform, three videos a day. It's just, okay, task, complete task, done. It's not very abstract to me. And I can understand Nozuki here or Yodaka here where ultimately, okay, I have a task. I can complete said task. Let me do that. And sure, he struggles a bit with it, but so he did it. He gets it done. Let's see. Ah, ooh, ooh, what's happening? Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? What's, what, what's going on? Please, editing me. Uh, he, he talked and acted so different. That's his true, that's his true self. Those two are experts at infiltration. They've concealed their true selves and taken on Personas to seamlessly blend in with the class. He, he bought too? The target won't. The target went with another girl. She's not part of the gig. Can't ever call for help. Take them both. So the extra's free game then. Uh oh. Y'all are playing yourselves. But that is. That's the thing, right? I just like I thought. Their personalities, what they show versus what their personalities really are, are different. And once again, I do get it. Work pencil and cannon pencil are. Well, I think that that's the thing, though. I wouldn't say they're really different people. It's just that one didn't speak about the same things in the same ways that the other does. Like, my real job and my content creation are just not, like, linked at all. Like, my degree has nothing to do with content creation. It has nothing to do with literature analysis. It has nothing to do with speaking. None of that. None of that. I think it took, like, one speech class in my entire run, and that was mandatory. I don't know. I didn't look for it. I didn't ask for it. So, I can understand that. The separation between work and reality... They're just two completely different things. Let's see. 
Ooh, but uh, the question is, who are they going to get cooked by? Is it just going to be Odaka, or is he probably going to come in and cook? Why does this art style remind me of something? It doesn't, it's just, just the fact that it looks clean. It reminds me of somebody else's art style. I need to look up Itadashi Sensei's previous works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's locking in. Let's see. Stroll out. Glasses off. This is the little girl's room. You creeps. Oh, my. Oh, my. The locking goes crazy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. She, she's... She's genuinely insane. Okay. okay. We can work with that. <laughs> we can work with that. I'm free game, lads. Come and try me if you can get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a demon. <laughs> we got a smoke demon, y'all. They found my favorite character. Alrighty. She's built like that for real, for real. Okay. Are they all just going to be bodies on the crowd? <laughs> Is she going to low diff the ball, please? Oh my word, she's body bagging. <laughs> we take it though, we take it though. Easy dubs, easy dubs. Wimps, you thought you were ready for me. Uh, OP? What's going on? Oh, that's the real Hibari. She's actually super specialized for combat. The change surprises even me. <laughs> okay, that does make sense though. I mean, I get it, I get it. Like... I guess I'm trying to relate to it. No, once again, I I, I don't code switch that hard. <laughs> Even I was trying to say I was gonna make the comparison between like the trash talker in me that appears when I'm gaming with my friends is not too different from regular is too different from regular being like is an entirely different person. It really isn't. The trash talk always exists. It's just more subtle. <laughs> And typically, sometimes I can't even trash talk. All my friends are just getting better. Like even the homie who's bad at fighters is suddenly starting to understand the game. I think that I think that new patch freedom. But let's see. You're late, Yodaka. You want to end like end up like those guys? <laughs> I mean, dude, it is defense. It is defense. And you better check them out. You better make sure no one broke in through the window. They may have another version. Let's see. I'm so sorry. Yep, someone broke through the window. Assignments on the move. Open the window so I can clear the place out. Um. Oh. She just gently leaped out the window with them. Okay. A little, little crazy, a little crazy. Ah! Die, you pieces! Oh, she's actually committing actual genuine executions. That is legendary. Let's see. Is there anything left for me to do? Fight. Um. Fight who? They're all gone. Let's see. Huh? Are you going to the bathroom too? With... Maracas? <laughs> hey, you never know. You can get freaky. Let me not, let me not, let me not. Oh, uh, I didn't notice I still had them. It seemed like there was a commotion. I didn't notice anything. Oh, so you enjoying karaoke? Uh, did, did any karaoke even really happen yet? Um, in a way. But, um, why did you invite me? Huh? Because I don't know anyone, and I'd be lonely on my own. I need you here with me. Oh, that is so sweet. Well, I still don't trust her though. Someone seems suspicious. Like, like that. That was. I mean, I'm not saying the guy at the beginning was right, but like, some, some suspicious. You, what you mean you ain't got no parents? What you mean public safety is protecting you and just you? What do you mean there's a whole organization in the underworld after you? What, what, what are you talk? So like, it sounds sweet. It sounds nice. A little bit suspicious though. Let's see. Oh, uh, I thought you just wanted to watch me squirm. Oh, that too. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that is, once again, that's like, that is on some real friendship type beat, though. Let's see. Uh-huh? Just, just three? Darn it. I left one up there. Yutaka, we're not in the clear yet. I noticed. What the heck was that girl? She's a monster. Is that a man or what? I can't Let's see. Whatever. I just gotta take care of that kid and make off with the girl. Ah, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that, Buckaroo. Let's see. I'm too close to the assignment. I need a decoy. Uh-oh. Lunge it in. Oh? Utsumi. Hey. Why are you here? I spilled my drink all over myself. Gotta wash it out before it stains. Ah, smart man, smart man. Let's see. Uh-oh. Lunge it in whole hall, full force. Yo, Daka. Please don't get too violent. I mean, get violent enough. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So 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 he's a demon too. He he he. You know, I give credit to Hibari for like being full demon. Like she's like Kenpachi type B. That like I, I do anything and everything for the smoke type B. But what did I say type B? Where did I get that? From? Why 
did I get that? Some phrases I don't even know where I got them from. Some phrases I remember, or in some mannerisms I remember. Numb Nexus is the reason why I will occasionally break out into song. I haven't watched Numb Nexus video in like years. I'm still subscribed to him, I'm pretty sure. But I haven't watched a Numb Nexus video in a while, but I specifically got that from him. I have it on me and I keep it on me. I think that's a reference to something. But that that, that is just me. I, like, I've now absorbed that into myself. What's up, guys? Like, all the comments here. That's just a generic YouTube intro. But, like, type B, where did I get that from? There are some phrases that I've just acquired and built into my vocabulary that I don't even remember the origin from. Hmm. And I probably won't remember either. So let's just roll with it. Let's see. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, he a demon, though. <laughs> like, look at that face, bro. No, Billy, that is a slightly, slightly funky drawing. I feel like the, I feel like the eye should be drawn a little bit differently if this is a three-quarter shot. Let's see. Just look at this. Oof. <laughs> Are you gonna put him through the window, dog? Golly! If you're a teenage, what kind of force do you have behind those legs, broski? Oh my word! Out the window? Man, they, they do not care. <laughs> shaka, shaka, shaka. Wow, nice. Oh, oh, he's shaking the maracas to hide the impact sound? That's smart. Why the mar What is it? Why the maraca serenade? Uh. I'm practicing. <laughs> See? You're totally into this. You can't beat my tambourine skills, though. I wasn't trying to make it a competition. Hey. You make a good team. Great job working together for the first time. Did you hop back up through the window? That's crazy. But all right. W chapter. W chapter. I like it. I like it. I like it. This is a series. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Initially, I wasn't... I wasn't too sold on the series. Like I said, I, in the chapter one plus two review video, I was like, eh, whatever. Not really my thing. But no, now that I see it, now that a vision is being laid out, it's kind of clear to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I see it. I see it. I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm interested to see how it evolves in particular, considering this probably is our main group, our main four. I wonder if there's going to be a traitor amongst them, because usually you don't really see four-man bands or five-man bands. You always see trios. So when it's going to go down, the plot is going to thicken. The idea of organizations and stuff like that being introduced, multiple people from multiple different factions coming to get Bukai. Bukai's mystery and her perceptiveness obviously is a little bit higher than the average bear. So overall, I'm excited to see what goes down. However, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please do me a favor and leave leave maracas I was, about, I was about to make a joke tying it into like the legend of zelda character i, I forget their name hetsu actually no leave hetsu <laughs> hetsu as in h-e-t-s-u i believe that's a guy in the breath of the wild duology that has the maracas that upgrade your weapon inventory leave hetsu in the comment section down below h-e-t-s-u i right, thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end of this video please do me a favor and leave Hetsu in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that little case bell so you not miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also I do have to have a patron below where you can support me for as little as one get a month. That one. Things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. And so now you become a member of the channel for as little as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. So those perks will include the live reaction to every of the series I happen to review, and to variations of all my videos, and you can become a dollar patron or a dollar member. You can order whatever video you want. Also, 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 I do have a link to my code file in the description down below. You can drop five beans for a short video, 25 beans for a long video, or any beans at all. Any support is always greatly appreciated. Now, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is That Left Pencil, writing off. I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Sierra, Greyhound, Eternal Flame, NMA, Real Rare, Red Wolf, Four Seven Six Five, Paris Arnold, Astro, Brandon Payne, and G Prosper. And I'd like to give a thank you to our five dollar patrons: Sean, Midnight Lord Twenty One, Kevin and Canacion, Josh Brown, Igneo Lind, and A Plus A. And I'd like to give a big old thank you to our seven dollar members: Autumn Mornings Lazo, Fine, Zombie Hunter, and Austin Wimberly. Then I'd like to give a thank you to our $10 members, Robbie Uchia, Jay Warrior, and AZ Void. Then I'd like to give a big old thank you to our $10 patrons, Overlord Zero, Joaquin Munoz, Joaquin Munoz, and Item Okami. And I'd like to give the craziest, juiciest, most next level, quadruple, swalopy, toppy, next level, superhuman, in beyond this world, kidney having. Thank you to our $100 patron, or that guy with a pencil tear patron. Calvin Elder.